This is Red Feather from Grepax. In this Cutting Live video, we will be showing you how to use the spacer tool. There are a couple of good reasons to use the Cutting Live spacer tool, but one of the most important ones is to avoid the disappearing video while using the Cutting Live speed effect. For example, Say you record a video, you then import the video into KDN Live for editing. Say the video is 20 minutes long and you plan to use the speed effect as well as other cuts in order to shorten the video. It is better to not adjust the KDN Live timeline until all effects and cuts are added if possible. Once all the cuts and effects have been added, such as the speed effect or effects, if you, have, if you do more than one, go to the KDN Live title bar, click on Tools, scroll down to the Spacer tool, and click. Now notice the pointer for my mouse has changed to a double arrow, one on each side. This will allow us to move all of our KDN Live cut clips as a group. So go to the group of cuts and grab them with your mouse, dragging them to the left in order to remove any space. Once this is done in KDN Live, go back to the title bar, scroll down to the selection tool, and click. Review your Kating Live timeline. If everything looks in order, then render away. I hope you have enjoyed this Kating Live tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? And ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, after all, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu one from his YouTube channel. Thank you in advance. I am out.